humans are mammals that belong to the order primates, which also includes other great apes, monkeys, and simians, such as lemurs. Human evolution began as did the evolution of all existing species, with a single-celled organism the first living thing on Earth. For simplification, most evolutionary biologists focus on the evolution of humans, beginning with bipedalism, or the ability to walk upright on two feet. This trait arose between four and six million years ago. The next major step in human evolution was encephalization, the development of a large brain. About four million years ago, a group of hominids in a genus known as Australopithecus emerged. They walked upright and had large brains, about a third the size of the brains of Homo sapiens, or modern humans. The skeleton of a member of Australopithecus afarensis, called Lucy, shows these telltale signs of the human evolutionary tree. A little less than three million years ago, the genus Homo emerged, and this is the genus to which modern human beings belong. This genus is distinct from Australopithecus ancestors by virtue of an even larger brain, smaller facial features, and changes in the feet that led to a great ability to walk upright, despite the loss in dexterity of the hands and feet. The first species in the genus was Homo habilis, which lived three to one million years ago. The members of the species used tools made of stone and for a time lived alongside Homo erectus, which lived 1.9 million years ago to 140,000 years ago. Homo erectus was the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens. They had larger brains than Homo habilis and they're thought to have been the first species to use fire as well as stone tools. There's evidence that Homo erectus not only cooked food, but used fire to make clay tools. Homo erectus individuals were also travelers. Some spread from Africa into modern day Europe and as far east as Western Asia. They eventually gave rise to several other species, notably Homo sapiens, which emerged between 100 and 200,000 years ago, and Homo neanderthalensis, which emerged about 130,000 to 40,000 years ago. The exact dates at which each of these species emerged are still topics of heated debate. For most of their existence, Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis lived alongside each other. Like their ancestors, they used fire and tools. They lived in tribal groups and ate a diet consisting of meat they hunted and plants they gathered. Anatomically, the two were very similar, having the largest brains of any hominids and being similar in size, with an adult Homo neanderthalensis standing 60 to 66 inches tall and weighing 146 to 171 pounds. Homo neanderthalensis, however, was stronger, with shorter limbs and a larger torso than Homo sapiens. There's strong evidence to suggest that these two species interacted and that interbreeding between them occurred. The course of the extinction of Homo neanderthalensis about 40,000 years ago is still unclear and several hypotheses have been proposed to explain this event including disease, climate change, or mere absorption into Homo sapiens through interbreeding. Whatever the reason, the extinction of Homo neanderthalensis left Homo sapiens as the only human species alive today.